what's going on YouTube, uh, we, uh, got some news today regarding the Eagles, um, Jason Peters is coming back on a one-year deal, um, he's gonna play guard and replace Brandon Brooks right away, uh, I told a lot of people, don't be surprised if this happens, um, I'm not shocked, I'm not thrilled, nor am I shocked that it happened, um, obviously we heard, um, that there was going to be some big news regarding the Eagles that was going to be coming up this week, um, I was going to make a video on that, but I figured it was all just smoke screen, so I wouldn't even bother with that, um, yeah, I, I told a lot of people, you know, it's probably either going to be bringing Jason Peters back or Shady McCoy coming back. It's not going to be getting clowny or trading for Adams or Yannick. It's not going to be anything exciting. So, um, I don't know why everybody's treating this like big news. I kind of sort of saw this coming like months ago. Um, well, I shouldn't say months ago, but I knew it was a possibility. Um... I'm not at all surprised, um, like I said, nor am I thrilled, um, there's two ways this can, can go, okay, either Jason Peters has been taking advantage of this lockdown, he's been working real hard to get back to his original form, um, he's working hard to rehabilitate and just stay healthy and be able to enhance his abilities, um, and he's gonna come right in and play guard and do a pretty decent job at it, or... He's not going to be used to playing the guard position, and it's going to really bite him in the rear end, and it's not going to end well at all. And he can get benched for Pryor or Driscoll, whoever we uh, decide to go with as a backup, which will probably be Pryor. But, um, you know, I got no hate towards Jason Peters, you know what I mean? It's just, I don't think taking him from his gifted position and moving him and forcing him to move to another position is a good idea. I really don't think it's a great idea at all, and I think it's really going to backfire. Not to sound negative or nothing, but I think it's the truth. I mean, Jason Peters, as much as I love him, and he's done great things, he's one of the best tackles to ever play the game, but uh, he's just not who he used to be, okay? He hasn't had a healthy year in the past three seasons, at least the past three se seasons. False starts here, false starts there. I mean, he's just, he's 38 years old. I think his time in the NFL is finally coming to an end. And, uh, you know, not to say he sucks or nothing, but it was time to move on from him. You know, Andre Dillard's going to be the guy at left tackle. I got faith in him. I'm not giving up on him just yet. Ho hopefully nobody's giving up on him. He's put like 20-something pounds of muscle or something like that on. I don't know. Something along the lines of that, so he's gonna be much stronger, and he's gonna have more. He's gonna have that experience under his belt. Um. Yeah, but I just don't think this signing is a good idea. I mean, I get it's only one year deal till Brooks comes back, but you can't. It's like taking Patrick Mahomes and moving him to kick returner. Like it's you can't. You know you can't take a guy. Move him from his gifted position and force him to play another just because you have a hole in that spot. You know what I mean? Like, I wish Jason Peters nothing but the best, and I hope I'm wrong, but at the same time, you got to look at, you know, just his skill set. You know what I mean? He's naturally a left tackle. That's that's all it come to, comes down to. You can't expect a guy, unless they've had experience or have proven they can play at multiple positions before playing at, you know what I mean? Like, you can't expect a guy to move to another position unless he's had experience at that position and he's been able to play multiple positions before and he's proven that he can stay at one position and he can transfer if need be. Jason Peters has been, for the most part, just naturally a left tackle. I think he's going to have a hard time transitioning to guard. Unless, like I said, he's taken advantage of the quarantine and he's been able to get back into his original form to the point where he's able to switch without any issues. Um, yeah, I, I hope I'm wrong in this case. I hope it works out. Um, I don't think it was necessarily the best move. wasn't a very smart move by any means. But, but uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Subscribe if you, if you haven't already. Um, ring the bell so you know when I upload. And... Uh, you won't miss a second. Um, 
yeah, have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.